It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that through hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now, and in those fights, why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, great to be losing the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Oh, hollow tie. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that one. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. All right, so there's the early takedown for the decorated grappler, exactly what he wanted to do tonight. Exactly what he needed to do if he's going to want to win this fight. You've got to put this guy on his back early, and you've got to put him on his back off. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transitions. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Usman's pass is denied. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Punch over the top. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Here and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now, what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Usman's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there absolutely. You go. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC. Take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. The fight does go down. You want top, so get the All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. Three back. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed his jab. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ring your bell, head kick. Oh! Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. Left hand punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Watch the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was gonna do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was gonna go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it. Perfect. Nice punch, Lance. job there to land the knee strike to the body again making great use of his length in this match well he has really picked up the pace here in round two much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket stuffs the takedown no problem and they set him. big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this one Over and over, he landed with big body kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. Nice. Oh! Slips 
to avoid the run. Oh, single collar tie here. Lands the front kick to the body now. Nice work on the feet by Usman. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook... Huge shot finds the target there! Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Usman's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Less than a minute to go in the round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. As usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. 15 seconds to go. work with the ground and pound here by Kamaru Usman. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Effective punch there by Kamaru Usman. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight 
not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world. Usman gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Blocks that strike. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three. Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Usman's knee to the body. That one blocked by the opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Liver kick. Ooh, nice right hand. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. That punch, no good. Nice. Lands the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he's back up again. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Under three minutes, remain in round five. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but Usman gets the double leg takedown. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. And they both stand up. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? It's very tricky when you throw that body. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, so right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the park. Ninety seconds and counting to go in the fight. Again here, 
by Hurtman. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent oh! in the very back. He's out! He's done, he's done. What a performance! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. He'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, the king! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this...